Welcome to this Arnold Culliford Knitwear tutorial. Today's video is all about working yarn overs in different situations in your knitting. This is one of the tutorials that you'll find in our new book, Something New to Learn About Lace. You can find out more about the book and all of the beautiful projects in the book over on our website, acknitwear.co.uk. A yarn over increases one stitch and also creates a hole in your fabric. And in a lace pattern, yarn overs are often accompanied by a decrease, thus keeping the number of stitches that you have on your needles at any one time constant. Alternatively, they can also be used to make an increase and make your fabric larger. The basic way of working a yarn over would be, to be between two knit stitches. So that might be just a straightforward knit or an SSK but any of those stitches that create the smooth V's on the front of the fabric and put the pearl bump at the rear of the fabric. So we've just worked a knit stitch and our yarn is at the rear of the work. And when you work a yarn over, you're generally passing the yarn around the needle in the same direction as you would if you were knitting. So if we knit a stitch, we go in and we pass the yarn around the needle and then to work a yarn over, we go in the same direction and then work the next stitch. Let me undo that and show you again, because it was very quick. So you've done your knit, you bring the yarn to the front between the needle tips, and then over the needle, so that it's now at the back again, ready to knit the next stitch. Let's work to the end of the row so that you can look and see how the yarn over looks in between those knit stitches. So the knit stitches sit fairly perpendicular to the needle and the yarn over is more diagonal. If you look at the rear of the work, you can see the pearl bumps at the base of all those knits. This one here doesn't have a loop of yarn over it because that's the yarn over. Those are all knits. And again, at the front, you can almost see the hole that will be created by that yarn over and it sits slightly diagonally on the needles. When you come to work over it on the wrong side, we're going to purl across the row. Here's the last purl stitch before the yarn over, and then the yarn over you work in exactly the same way as you would any other stitch. Keep going. If we now look at the right side of the fabric, you can see the hole created by the yarn over, and you can see that it's actually added a stitch in the middle of the fabric because we didn't work a decrease to balance out that increase. Now I'm going to show you how to work a yarn over between two purl stitches. And again, this might be a purl or it could be a purl two together, or an SSP, or any other stitch that is worked purl-wise. So our yarn is at the front of the needle. We've worked a purl. Yarn's still at the front of the needle. We go over the needle to the back of the work, and around between the needle tips to bring the yarn back to the front of the work. And you can see that's put an extra loop over the needles without having to work a stitch. When we now come along and work the next stitch, we can see that we've got that extra one in between. I'll just do that again once more for you. So we're ready. We've done our purl. The yarn's at the front. We go over to the back between the needle tips and then we purl the next stitch. If we work to the end of the row, you can then see how it looks on the needles. And as before, when we worked it between the knit stitches, you can really see that there's, on an angle, the purls are sitting perpendicular and the yarn over is at an angle and it doesn't have a purl bump at the base of it. Here's the purl bump on the stitch before, but there's no loop over the bottom of that stitch. When we come along to work the next row, we're going to be knitting over it in this particular pattern. And 
and we work straight along until we reach the yarn over. Here it is and we just work into it in exactly the same way as the other stitches into the front and knit it and you can see that that's going to make a nice neat stable hole in your fabric. Not the sort of hole that's going to get bigger over time hopefully but a stable hole in your fabric. And again when the row's finished you can see there the hole that's been created by the yarn over. This was one that was worked between two purl stitches. So I've shown you how to work a yarn over between two knit stitches and also between two purl stitches. We're now going to look at what to do when your yarn over lies between a knit and a purl and then two ways of working between a purl and a knit. So this nice lace rib pattern has column of purl stitches and in between on the two knit stitches in the rib there's a lace motif. On row five we work a knit two together yarn over purl one so that's working a knit yarn over and then purl and on row seven it's the other way around we work purl one yarn over SSK so we're going from a purl type stitch to a knit type stitch. So first of all I'm going to show you how to work from a knit type stitch yarn over and then a purl afterwards. So we're going to work along in pattern until we're ready to work the yarn over. So we've done the purl one, we're now going to knit two together. And the yarn's at the back of the work and the yarn over needs to be worked before a purl stitch. So we bring the yarn to the front between the needles over the top and to the front again between the needles and then we work the purl. I'm going to carry on along the row and show you again. So the yarns at the back we do our knit two together. We then bring the yarn to the front between the needles over the top and back to the front between the needles and that puts the yarn over loop onto our right needle. Again you can see the yarn overs on that row when you come to the end of it. And we work back on the wrong side. Again we're just going to work into the yarn over stitches in the normal way. So there's our knit and we need to purl this yarn over, purl the knit two together. And again purling into the yarn over as normal. And you can see on your swatch there's our yarn over holes worked between a knit and a purl. So knit first, yarn over, then purl. We're now ready to work row seven of the pattern and this time we're going to be working purl one, yarn over, SSK. So we have a purl stitch before the yarn over and a knit type stitch worked after the yarn over. So first of all we work in pattern until we reach the first yarn over so the purl has been worked and the yarns at the front of the work we go over the top and then we work the SSK so normally when you go from a purl to a knit you would bring the yarn between the needle tips to, to get the yarn over you go over the top Do that again as we work across the row. So work the purl over the top, SSK. Now you may notice that when you work your yarn overs in this way that they seem a little bit smaller 
than your other yarn overs if you have a pattern that has other yarn overs in it. So maybe yarn overs worked between knit stitches or yarn overs worked after a knit and before a purl. And that's because when you work this yarn over, you're just taking the wool over the top of the needle. You're not going right the way round. It's actually quite a short path. If you look, you can see it there. It's literally just from there to there. Whereas when we worked from a knit to a purl, we wrapped it right the way round the whole of the needle. So sometimes when you work these, they can come out a bit small and I'm going to show you a fix for that. Okay, as we work back on the wrong side row, we just work into the stitches as normal. So we're working knit one, purl two, knit one, and then there's the SSK, and here's our yarn over, and you can see it's sitting the right way round, and so we just purl it, knit the next stitch and we can work back across the row like that. But if you look at your swatch, you may notice that the lower of each pair is larger than the upper one, and that's because of the path that yarn is taking. So let me show you an alternative way of working a yarn over after a purl and before a knit that makes a more balanced size of hole. On this swatch you can see that the yarn over holes are both more evenly sized and that's because we've worked this alternative method. Let me show you how that works. So we're going to work in pattern. Purl one, knit two, purl one. Okay, now, the way we've done the yarn over before, we've gone straight over the top, but this time we're gonna wrap the wool in the opposite direction. And the way I remember it is this, we've been purling, I take the yarn to the side of the work where I want it to be, so I want it to be at the back ready to knit, and then I keep going in that direction and wrap it right the way round. And that helps me remember how to work after a knit before a purl as well. So let's just show you that again. We've done our purl, we go to the side of the work where we want the yarn to be, so it needs to be at the back ready to knit, and we've gone between the needle tips to do that. And then we keep going the same way, so we've gone front to back, up over the top, and then front to back between the needle tips again. And you can see that the yarn over is wrapped around the needle, and this time, rather than just taking the shortcut over the top, we've forced the yarn to go right the way around the needle to make the yarn over hole a better size. But in doing so, we've wrapped the yarn around the needle in the opposite direction to normal. And I'll show you what to do about that in a minute. Here we are again. We're going to do our purl. Take the yarn to the back, wrap it right the way around, SSK. If you look closely at the row when we've finished, you might spot that those yarn overs we've worked are lying the other way around from normal. Normally the leading leg is, the fr is at the front and it's the right hand side that's at the front, whereas here it's the left hand side of the stitch that's at the front of the needle. And that means that when we work back on the next row, to keep those yarn overs nice and open, we're gonna work them through the back loop. So here's our SSK, we're purling it, 
And now here's the yarn over. If we purl into the front of the stitch, we're going to make the yarn over be twisted and it will close it up. So instead, we're going to purl into the back of the stitch, thus keeping it nice and open and big the way we want it. So if you're doing a pattern that has a yarn over between a purl and a knit, it's up to you whether you work it the normal way so that your stitches are mounted correctly or whether you work the alternative way I've just shown you. If you do choose to work it the alternative way, your pattern won't tell you to work those yarn overs through the back loop on the next row. That's something you have to keep an eye on and keep track of yourself. But if you're reading your knitting as you work, it's quite straightforward to do because it's immediately obvious when you reach that stitch that it's sitting the wrong way round. And actually it's quite hard to work it through the front loop. You won't find that easy to do. It's much easier to work it through the back loop. And in doing so, you have lovely even pairs of yarn overhauls. So just to recap, if you're working a pattern that has yarn overs between a purl type stitch and a knit type stitch, or indeed between a knit type stitch and a purl type stitch, the way to work those yarn overs is to take the yarn between the needle tips to the side that you need it on ready for the next stitch, and then keep passing it around the needle in the direction that you're already going in and do a whole turn around the needle. And in doing so, you make sure that both of your yarn overs are the same sort of size and everything looks neat at the end. And just watch out on the rows back that you work the yarn over where it's mounted the wrong way round, you work the yarn over through the back loop. Thank you for watching our video all about working yarn overs in your lace knitting. I hope you found it helpful and you're ready to go and tackle some new projects. If you'd like to know more about something new to learn about lace or any of our other books or tutorials, do visit our website, acknitwear.co.uk. Thanks for watching.